Hey everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm turning a piece of maple. This piece of maple I've had drying for almost two years and it's about 12 by 11 uh, by about three inches thick. I'm using a face plate. I usually use a worm screw but uh, as you can see the crack there I just thought it was better safe than sorry. And I stripped one of the screws, oh, I'm trying to get it in there. And what you see me using is a, a stripped screw extractor. Uh, I'll link it in the video description in case you're interested. It was, it was a lifesaver. I don't like turning metal. I don't know if anyone else does, but it dulls the tools really quickly. Taking off the corners here, uh, just so it's a little bit easier to turn, get it into a semicircle at least. And we're almost ready to go here. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. There is a contest and you'll learn how to enter uh, towards the end of the video. And the drawing will be uh, next week. Just taking the bark off, or some of it. I didn't get all of it. I was too excited to start turning, I guess. So I put a glove on so that when the bark does come off, it doesn't uh, bloody the knuckles. So starting here with the bowl gouge. Just trying to true it up. It took a while to, to balance this out. Um, as you can see, it wasn't the same thickness uh, throughout. So I had to balance it before I could get the speed up very high. Here, I'm, I think I'm around 450. I'm still using the bowl gouge. Just going slow. Now we're gonna start on the outside edge. A little faster here, I think it's at about 550. Hey, if you're watching and you enjoy this kind of content, uh, if you'd do me a favor and click that like, the thumbs up button, and if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. There is a new project each week. And if you're already subscribed, Leave a comment, leave a like, or share on your social media. That helps as well. A little bit of a zoomed in close up shot. Still with the bowl gouge here. At this point, I'm, I'm up around 700 RPM. Starting to look more like a bowl. And I had cut this log so long ago I, I forgot what I thought it might look like but then again you never know until you start turning it sometimes but I was pleasantly surprised with the green working on the foot here
if you're looking at that foot and going, why the heck did she make that foot like that? Um, don't worry, I change it in a couple minutes here. Um, it just didn't look right on that bowl, so I made a little bit of a wider foot. Switching over to the curved tool rest now. A lot of people ask me about the tool rest. It's a robust brand and I'll link it in the video description in case you want to check it out. Um, I got it on Amazon for uh, right around a hundred bucks. Seems like a lot of money for just a tool rest, but it, it's robust. It lasts forever. And if you turn a lot of bowls like I do, uh, it was worth it for me. Yeah, the foot just doesn't look good like that. So version number two on the way. Tell me which one you like better, number one or number two. And I sanded from 80 all the way up to 320. Not filming at all because it all looks like this. And now taking it off of the faceplate and flipping it around to start the hollowing process. Putting the chuck back on. I have a Nova chuck, as and I was thinking about getting the uh, Easy Wood Tools one. It seems like a, a little bit easier to take the jaws on and off, but that was me telling you this is 500 RPM. Any, if anyone has the uh, Easy Wood uh, chuck. Let me know in the comments if you thought it was worth the $400 investment. Getting up close here, still with the bowl gouge, taking my time, making sure I don't get any catches, and making sure that the cuts are clean. The cleaner the cut, the less sanding you have to do. Some people love sanding. I'm not one of them though. So let me tell you about the contest. The winner will receive a small axe, abrasive paste, and polishing paste kit. And to enter the contest, please leave a comment and in your comment uh, you can type the city and state Lubeck, Maine. That's my hometown. Leave that in the comment section and be sure to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, go ahead and follow me on Instagram or Facebook. If you're already subscribed, that will be your entry. I'll put links to all of that in the video description. So I didn't want to lose much depth on 
the bowl so that large crack that you saw at the beginning this is what I'm working on here with some Starbond black CA glue and accelerator This crack is a little bit hard to see on the video, but uh, it was part of that same large crack. As you can see, they're across from each other. And same process, uh, CA glue and accelerator. And then on to some more sanding. I used a combination of power sanding and hand sanding. I went from 80, 120, 150, 180, 220, and 320. some denatured alcohol to remove all of the dust before putting the sanding sealer on. And this is the sanding sealer. I've gotten a lot of questions about the sanding sealer I use. I use the Zinsers brand uh, and I also put denatured alcohol in uh, for the mixture and it's 60-40. 60 the sealer and 40 the denatured alcohol and this is the axe abrasive paste this is what the winner will uh, get you'll get the small kit version and I will mail it to you free of charge obviously Oop! anybody have that happen paper towel whoosh, right out of your hand now the axe polishing paste I will leave a link to the Axe website so you can check it out for yourself if you don't win and you still want some. Use code PF10 and you'll get 10% off your order. So buffing the polishing paste here and you can already see it starting to shine. Really brings out the grain. So taking it off the lathe and showing you, uh, trying to show you some close-ups. Very interesting grain patterns. Different on one side than the other. Now putting my logo in with the branding iron. And I will, uh, Next, put the sanding sealer on and we will be done. Photos coming up at the end. Here you go. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next week, peace out.